Holy cow, this is a lot of stuff. I bought a quick wire kit. Um, I don't remember which one this is. Let's see. It's a 22 circuit kit. And it is a lot of stuff. Comes with the, the, the loom, which is cool. Keep it more tidy and some butt connectors, um, which I have a lot of anyway, but Jesus, this is a lot of stuff. I gotta figure out, I guess, what all this is. Um, and I don't even know what this switch does. So, we'll find out. I decided the first thing I needed to do here was start on the engine wiring harness to get that roughly in place. I'm not connecting very much of it, it's just mainly to get everything where it needs to be so I can decide where the ECU connector is going to go. Since I decided to put it in the car, I'm going to end up cutting a hole in the firewall that will fit the ECU connector plug, and so this is basically just lining that stuff up. So the next step is just cutting out the hole where the ECU plug will go through the firewall. It's a little bit bigger than it needed to be, but not too much. It's actually pretty tight, so I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Then it's just a matter of getting the wiring harness back through the firewall so I can work on the inside. So here's the modification to allow the ECU plug to go into the car. Uh, it's a marine ECU, but I decided that I wanted it in the car anyway, mainly because there is just not much room on these cars in the engine bay, especially not with what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to trim this off a little bit once I get the engine back out and the car is ready for paint. Um, but you can see how it goes through there, and I'll have a nice grommet to keep it clean. And then the rest of the wiring harness will be out here. So here you can see where I decided to mount the ECU. It's gonna be on the top of the transmission tunnel. Uh, the transmission tunnel is really easy to take in and out, and so this ECU also needs to be easy to remove from it, uh, but it's just gonna be held on with some quick disconnects, so that should not be a problem, and it seems to keep most of the wiring out of, way, uh, out of the way of where everything will go inside the dash. Uh, which will primarily be wiring and the windshield wiper line that goes through these. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. We'll see if I regret it. It seems like a good place for now. I initially was going to try mounting the fuse panel on the passenger footwell because I have a lot more room over there. But it turns out, as they mentioned in the instructions, these wires are really meant to be mounted on the driver's side, even on a car as tiny as mine. Uh, so we ended up getting it mounted here. Uh, you can see there's not a ton of room next to the pedals, but it does actually fairly well line up with this pillar. So I'm thinking I can probably just put a uh, piece of sheet metal between the two, and I won't have any issues with my foot hitting the panel. Uh, so we'll put some carpet there and stuff as well. That should hide the fuse panel pretty well. And then on the outside, it is mounted just with three socket head screws. Uh, you can see those here, here, and here. 
Um, and those will be nicely blended in when everything's painted so you won't really see them. And back to work. Here's where we sit after a few days of work. Uh, I've got all the wiring run throughout the car. Um, I used QuickWire's 22 circuit kit and I was actually able to cut quite a few circuits out. But better to have too many than not enough is my opinion. Uh, they got the motor group and the headlight group sticking out through the firewall and I was able to use a single uh, small one inch hole for that which is great. It'd be easy to cover up and put a grommet on. The tail group runs under the carpet in a channel that you can't really see here but there's a channel that runs along the length of the floor pan and I've run the wire through that. Uh, I might also you know put some more padding around it or something just to make sure that I don't have any issues with the carpet but it's all loomed so I don't think there'll be any big trouble. Um, here we have on each side power wires for the power door locks and power windows. Not sure if I'm gonna do those yet but they're in there at least. And then you can kind of see back here the fuse panel and the little kick panel I made to cover it. So that's held in with some tabs that are welded to various parts of the body as well as a few socket head screws here and that hides all the wiring and make sure that my uh, feet won't hit it we have the main fuse for the car uh, and then all of our wiring for various systems that's not yet hooked up including for the gauge cluster i have uh, 12 and 5 volt wires running up to the headliner area this is mainly for like a um Sorry, radar detector, and if I want to back up or not a uh, dash cam or anything like that, that way I'll have power wires for it. Also, have wires run for the rear defroster, dome light, that kind of thing, and speaker wires run. Uh, the seats I'm using are out of an old Miata, and they have seats in the headrest, so I'm going to upgrade those to some decent speakers, and these wires will go to each seat to supply that. The other wiring runs along the side of the car here. Uh, have everything held down with some tape for now. Runs to the back of the car, uh, to the fuel pump setup, fuel senders, battery, fuel pump, all that stuff. And then runs along the driver's side to the tail lights. Also have some wires broken out for the uh, power wire to the backup camera that I'm going to install, which attaches to the gauge cluster as well as, you know, all the other normal accessories you'd see there. So, got everything looking pretty good and pretty happy with it. Uh, still a little bit left to do, a little bit of cleanup, but made really good progress. So yeah, I'm happy. And unrelated news, I had the some guys from the body shop come by and look at the car, start getting me uh, quotes for painting. They, as you can probably tell here, if you look, there is this, these fenders or quarter panels, I should say, are kind of garbage. A lot of dents and stuff from over the years, and whoever owned the car at some point before me just hammered over the body seams here. And it unfortunately is just, yeah, it's garbage is the best way I can put it. You can kind of see some of the dents here and along the arches. So after talking to them for a little bit, um, those guys are really particular and because their name's gonna be on it, they don't wanna do a kinda half-baked job. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut all this off and replace both of these quarter panels. I thought I was done with the body work, but eh, once you talk to body guys, you change your mind. So I'll have all new quarter panels on there and hopefully a lot less work for them. They told me that I think, I ordered from Spit Bits, I think the both of the quarter panels are around total around $750 and they told me it'd probably be at least twice that maybe three times that in labor just to try to get all these dents pulled and the panel straight because uh, they just had so much damage over the years but otherwise hopefully we'll be getting paint quotes soon and then once we get ready for paint we can start disassembling and everything but still a lot more to do before then so that's it